Hello everyone, welcome to our Timeless Sunset Tarot. Now this is a general reading and uh, it is open to all zodiac signs. So just take what resonates with you. It is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, there might be a message here for you. Now, let's see the main energy for us for the end of the day. Okay, we have here the Six of Cups. Now, this could represent a person who is capable of giving unconditional love. And it can be that this person is coming your way. Now, this person can be more mature than you are. Or it can be also uh, somebody who can be your mentor. It can be also a romantic partner or a platonic friend okay so try to see how this resonates with you now it can be also that this card can symbolize you needing to spend more time nurturing yourself so for some of you the card invites us to spend more time nurturing ourselves spend more time uh, nurturing our inner child maybe for the past few days, you might have been working too hard and maybe you are being invited right now by the universe to take a short break, to treat yourself a little bit more. Now, let's try to see how this will further unfold. Okay, for some of you, yeah, you feel, you might have felt rejected. Some of you might have experienced the feeling of rejection but you are proactively uh, trying to find your way through this situation. So you might have been, you might have felt rejected, but it has not stifled your spirit. You are proactively still trying to find ways to get things done. So it can be that you made a proposal or you asked for something and it was not accepted but it didn't stifle your spirit you're still also finding ways to to somehow get whatever it is that you wanted to get to accomplish you are still actively or proactively trying to find ways to get it done so in a certain sense maybe that's one of the reasons why you are also quite busy at the same time also the Six of Cups can also symbolize you sort of uh, spending time also to heal yourself. If you have been rejected, then sometimes there is also a need for you to undergo some moment to allow yourself, some moment of being alone to allow yourself to recover from whatever challenge you have encountered. So if it is a rejection, you need some time also to nurture yourself and to allow yourself to bounce back from the situation. But I feel that if you have been rejected, you are still actively looking for solutions to what the, to this problem, okay, or to this challenge that you are facing right now. Uh, I think that uh, you will be able to find it because you seem to be determined to get it done. Now, it can be also the other way around. Maybe the card is also uh, trying to remind you to uh, evaluate the situations that you are in. You might have un, um, unintentionally rejected somebody and this somebody is feeling like they are being left out in the cold. If it is you who have rejected these people and you feel that there is a need for you to be compassionate or to give some considerations on these people maybe to be at least civil or at least um, considerate to them then also maybe you need to do this thing okay so uh, in the area of compassion if you are the one who have closed the door to somebody uh, maybe you need to reassess the situation uh, is it really uh, where is it really founded that you have done the decision? Because sometimes we really need to have good boundaries to say no 
to close certain things, especially if people are taking advantage of us or giving us negative energies or draining us of our energies, then these are good boundaries. But if we have inadvertently hurt somebody, made somebody feel rejected, and you feel that you might have committed a mistake on your part, then maybe there is a need for you to adjust this. If there is a need to apologize, then maybe there is a need for you to do so also. So try to assess how these cards are resonating in your present situation. Now what is the advice of the universe for us? Well, you need to be more receptive. Okay. Um, if you are in the process of nurturing yourself, then you need to spend more time alone, more time being close to nature, more time uh, nurturing your hobbies also. You see here, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is surrounded by creativity. A lot of things are flourishing. So it can be also that part of that process of nurturing yourself is uh, attending to those things that you have always wanted to do, like hobbies or interests. Maybe this is the right time for you to pursue them now. Now, for some of you, be careful. Uh, you are highly fertile at this time. The rabbit can also show creativity. So whatever rejection you might have had, your creativity will allow you to still make it through in spite of the rejection. So right now, uh, you are contemplating on how you will succeed. And I feel that you are very receptive right now. If you would be receptive to the guidance coming from the universe, then I believe success is just waiting around the corner. So this is what we have for our tarot reading. Let us now go to Insights at Twilight. For our Insights at Twilight, the message comes from Andy Warhol. And the message is, They always say time changes things, but you actually have to change them yourself. Okay. If we, if we try to relate it to the tarot card reading, I think it somehow relates to the five of pentacles, wherein uh, the rejection that you might have received, well, time can change it, okay? Uh, these two can pass, these two will pass. Uh, the rejection, after a certain period of time, can lead into a stepping stone to something better. Sometimes the rejection or the closed door leads us to search for a better option. Sometimes the universe closes the door so that we will go to the right path. Because sometimes what we thought is the right thing is sometimes the wrong path. Okay, So sometimes it's like that. But at the same time, uh, there's a need for you to proactively also do your part. So. Like when you look at the people in the Five of Pentacles, even if they were shut out of the, of the church or the temple, they still proactively try to find other means and other ways to enter the temple. So the rejection did not hinder their spirit. So in a certain sense, uh, that's also the same way here. Uh, we, If things are not as favorable as we would want them to, to be, we do our part. But also we need to accept the reality that not everything is in our control. So we just do the things that we can control or we can change. And then the rest we entrust to the divine. We ask the divine to fill up what is lacking in the situation. Uh, we need to remember that we are not alone and we don't have to go through these things alone. If you look at the Six of Cups, here you see here a person, a young man, giving joy to the little girl. So in a certain sense also it's like you don't have to go through these challenges in life alone. You can always find people, especially if these people are offering generously or loving you in an unconditional way, supporting you in an unconditional way, then lovingly receive. Be gracious, be thankful, and say thank you also. Appreciate these things, because when we appreciate that we are receiving good things from the universe and from the people around us, 
life becomes easier because you know that you are not alone and you know that you are cared for that you are loved so you need to be you need here to be creative just like the queen of pentacles you need to always uh, try to do some some things if you can to improve the situation you are in so this is what we have for our insights at twilight and our tarot reading i hope you were able to gain some insights that can help you in your present life situation thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel thank you for subscribing i hope to see you again soon until that time may god continue to bless your ways